The three parts of you. Plenty of movies have very specific archetypes. There are 12 basic archetypes you'll find in most movies, book stories, and legends. But there are also common collections of groups. The various seven samurai from the famous movie are essentially replicated in the first Star Wars. Luke, Obi-Wan, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Princess Leia, and the two droids. If you watch the movie The Seven Samurai, there's an old guy in town they always refer to when they have serious issues. And while not the same archetype, the old guy in Seven Samurai looks a lot like Yoda, hunched over, walking with a cane, etc. Even the word Jedi sounds a lot like the Japanese word for period piece or old movies about samurai. If you are a fan of comedies, they also have the same types of ensembles. The serious guy, the goofy guy, etc. It feels kind of familiar to have a certain crew of people, each who have a certain collection of characteristics. This is pretty much a staple of Michael Crichton books and movies. Experts from various fields tackling some weird problem. Back in the day, psychologists like Freud and Jung were trying to figure out the different parts of our personality. The whole idea about archetypes comes from Jungian dream analysis. This is a pretty cool idea. The types of archetypes that make up the stories we love so much and have been told and retold since the dawn of time are the same archetypes of our dreams. When Jung mentioned the collective consciousness, what did he mean exactly? One single brain that we can all access when we sleep? Or do all our brains dream about the same thing for whatever reason? Plenty of scientists have discovered answers to their problems in their dreams. Edison deliberately leveraged his dreams to invent stuff and make a lot of money. Were all these scientists using their dreaming mind to find ideas that were only in their brains? Or were they capable of using their dreaming mind to tap into this collective consciousness. Either way, consider that your dreams are much more valuable than having interesting things to talk about. Your dreams could be your ticket to fame and fortune. If you study all those scientists who did use their dreams to invent things, none of those inventions just poofed out of nowhere. They were problems they'd been working on. Consider that to maximize your brain, you need to get all three elements together your own archetype ensemble, the rational you who thinks and plans, the daydreaming you where you can stretch the limits of what might be possible, and the dreaming you who thinks far beyond the constraints of reality. Get all three of these on board and nothing can stop you. To learn how, visit mindpersuasion.com forward slash 3x3.